Okay, guys. <clears throat> uh, my name's Jake. Uh, I'm with the feedback team. This is my second time recording this video in a row because the first time I recorded a video for seven minutes and it turned out to be like a, a blurry, terrible, terrible video. So this is the second attempt. Um, I'm just going to jump straight into it and try and make it fairly quick. Basically, this is all about how to conduct interviews. Um, now, first of all, I think it's really important that you conduct interviews if you're attempting a startup or you're an entrepreneur. So it's really essential. I, I think everybody should do it if they have an idea for a business. The first thing I would do is I work out who are my customers, who do I want to talk to, and where do they congregate. Um, for our team, feedback, we're targeting entrepreneurs and startups, luckily. So Venture Lab, places like Reddit, startups, um, entrepreneur forums, other places that we're looking. Um, and also physical meetups, places where people like literally go in and sort of hang out and chat. Um, now, you can do these interviews online or you can do them face to face, it's up to you. Um, because we have a team spread around the world, we're doing it predominantly online. So, wh where I've mainly been finding people is uh, actually Reddit um, on our startups as well as on Venture Lab. Now, the first thing I'll do is if I'm going to contact somebody, um, I put together a template. You're going to be contacting a lot of people. So basically, uh, in my Google Drive, I've created a, a basic template. Um, you, know, you want an interesting title so that you grab their attention when they open it up in their inbox. Now the pitch is I introduce myself, I say who I am, I sort of explain why I'm contacting them and how I came across them. Um, and I say, you know, I'm interested in what you're doing and I'd, I'd like to have... Uh, a chat for 10 minutes um, via Skype or Google um, if you have the time and if they don't want to do voice because some people just don't want to talk <laughs> um, to, uh, to strangers online which I completely understand you know I, I offer them the option to do it via text I also finish off saying look I understand if you're too busy um, that's fine so always end on a good note you don't want to burn any bridges and people might literally be too busy now it's a numbers game, so you want to send out a lot of these, that's why I do a template, I'm sending out a lot. If you send out 10, you might get one or two positive responses, which also means I create another template if it is successful. So this is my email outreach, if, if successful. This way I can just send this off really quickly if they say, yeah, I want to do an interview. So thank you so much, um, I give them... My, my Skype username or we can do a hangout, I tell them where I am um, and I give them a little background because when you're going to be talking to strangers online, it's nice to break the ice and have something to talk about from the get-go. So I tell them what I've done in the past, just a little bit and I also finish off just saying it should only take 10 minutes. People don't want to spend an hour talking to a stranger, they're doing you a favour. So keep it short, if it goes longer that's fine, but make sure that you tell them it's going to be short initially. Um, Okay, on to the next thing. You need to start with assumptions. What are you trying to learn? What do you think the customer need is? What do you think the solution may be? But you you also want to find out certain objectives. So I have my assumptions, I lay them out, and then I also say what my objectives are. And those two key points will inform the questions that I write. Then, of course, I always... Um, lay out the questions that I'm going to ask. You want guidelines when you're doing an interview. So you you can freestyle here and there or follow up on a question, um, play it by ear, but always make sure you have a guideline so you know where you're going, you know the kind of questions that you're going to be asking because uh, you don't want to get somebody on the other end of the phone and you just don't know what you're actually going to ask them. Never do that. Um, these are example questions that we ask. They're going to be different for every startup. One thing that I would say every startup should ask, every one of you, is that at the very end of the interview, ask them if they know anybody else um, in the same industry or another entrepreneur or somebody else who might be interested in talking to you about your idea. Because for every person you interview, they probably know two or three other people that would like to talk to you and, and that makes it really easy for you to sort of go from one to the next um, okay on to the next thing I've got my questions all laid out I'm ready to go I do the interview um, once I've done that you need to collect your answers what I do here I've got one spreadsheet where I go where have I found the person 
uh, if they have a username and uh, obviously they have a real name if they've done something in the past or they're working on something now I put that down so if they have a project I go and check that out I can talk to them about what they are doing um, as we chat so I know about them I, I know what their interests are etc and it just makes the, f the conversation so much easier if they've responded to my outreach I put that down if it's uh, if I've done the interview I, I, will, I will write that down as well and also, you know, organizing times and dates. I put this all in a spreadsheet because I can just look at this and see, okay, this outreach is really successful at the moment or it's not successful and I need to change it. Then the final thing is I have a spreadsheet and we as a team, Feedback, have a spreadsheet where we're filling in the answers to the questions. If they've responded by text, you just copy and paste, no worries. If you've done an interview with them, then summarize what they've said for each question. If there's anything else that you want to um, add, you've, you've got other spaces where you can add additional answers, but you'll also have your basic guideline questions and you want to fill in the answers to those. So as you can see, we, we've done a lot of interviews and it's all collected in one place so we can go over it really easily. So I just want to finish off and say that at every startup should be talking to customers before they spend money, before they spend time and effort. You need to find out what the customers want, what they need, what current solutions they're using, and find out if the solution that you think might work actually has a chance of, of finding a market and gaining traction. So save yourself time and effort down the track by talking to customers now. And, and then you can either change what you're working on according to that feedback or you know you're on the right track and, and it's going to give you extra motivation. Okay, so I hope that that's really helpful and good luck with your startup career. Okay, bye.